So let's look at the following example that will deal with electric circuits and capacitors. So we'd like to calculate the equivalent capacitance of all the capacitors as shown in the following diagram. So we have the following closed electric circuit. So we have our lower potential, we have the higher potential, and we have a difference in potential as a result of a battery which is placed into our circuit. Now we're going to have the following four capacitors as shown. Now let's suppose the capacitor capacitance of each capacitor is equivalent and is equal to the quantity given by C, where C is given by 2 microfarads. So using this information, we essentially want to calculate what the equivalent capacitance is of all these capacitors. So, we're going to break this problem down into three steps. In step one, we essentially want to examine capacitor number two and capacitor number three. So, we want to combine these capacitors into a single equivalent capacitor with capacitance given by C prime. Now, because these two capacitors are in series relative to one another, that means to find our C prime, we have to use the following equation. 1 divided by C prime is equal to 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3. Now C2 is equal to C3 which is equal to C. So this becomes 1 divided by C plus 1 divided by C. Now we combine these fractions. We get 2 divided by C or equivalently 1 divided by C divided by 2. So we see the equivalent capacitor that will replace these two capacitors is equal to C divided by 2. So the capacitance on that given by C prime is equal to C divided by 2. Now let's move on to step 2. Now we want to combine C prime and C4 which are arranged in parallel relative to one another. Remember C1 is simply our capacitor that we combined in step 1 when we combined this capacitor and this capacitor. So, because they are in parallel to find the total capacitance or the equivalent capacitance, we simply sum up these two capacitance. So, let's call the equivalent capacitance of these two combinations C double prime. So, C double prime is equal to C prime plus C4. Now, C prime in terms of C is simply C divided by 2 and C4 is equal to C. So C pro or C double prime is equal to C two C divided by two plus C. We combine these and we see C double prime is equal to three C divided by two. So now we do step three. In step three, we essentially want to combine the last two capacitors. So we want to combine C pro or C double prime, which is a result of the combination of these two capacitors with C one shown here. So, because these two capacitors C double prime and C1 are in series with respect to one another, we once again have to use this equation. So now, 1 divided by C equivalent, which is what we're trying to calculate in the first place, is equal to 1 divided by C double prime plus 1 divided by C1. And that is equal to, well this quantity is C3 or 3C divided by 2. And this this quantity C1 is simply C. So we can bring this 2 to the top and we get the following result. Now we solve for our common denominator so we multiply this by 3 and we get 2 plus 3 so 5 divided by 3C. So now we take this 5, we bring it to the bottom by dividing top and bottom by 5, and we see that our equivalent capacitance of all these capacitors is equal to 3C divided by 5. Now because C was given to be 2 microfarads, that means our equivalent capacitance is given by 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 5. So this becomes 0 0.4, 3 times 0 0.4 gives us 1.2 microfarads is our equivalent capacitance of all these capacitors as shown.